Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Danganronpa. And yesterday was a bad day. It was... It, no, nobody's happy right now. And I'm not happy either. I, this game is causing me pain right now beyond, like, all... Rec like, we've played games on here that have caused me pain. This game is causing me a hell of a lot of pain right now. I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Yeah, let's do the thing. Ugh, I'm scared of what's gonna happen. Friendship is... Oh, Kyoko, are you gonna ignore me? Just make me feel bad. I don't wanna be my friend no more. No more OTP. Kyoko, good morning. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. So ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here got really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Ugh... Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Fuck yes. Need my OTP back. <laughs> I have a lot of OTPs. This just happened to be one of them. Danganronpa OTPs are interesting, to say the least. Ah, Makoto, you okay? Huh? What do you mean? You were late, so we were worried about you. You were worried about me! Thanks, buddy! Oh, what a dullard. Koko, Byakuya, what are you doing here? They're taking refuge here! Refuge? But don't make that stupid face. We must protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. You just cause problems, bro! You- every time I walk into a room, you're a problem! The Mastermind? Are you talking about Sakura? Uh, <laughs> that's what I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Where is Sakura? All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against the threat. Threat? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets the balance. That's a stupid reason. Stupid? This is a life or death game, is it not? It is stupid! You're a stupid idiot! Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the Mastermind reveal Sakura was the spy to us? They were trying to get revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye! That might be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. I'm assuming that they want to turn us all against her. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the Mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you stand there and argue like children? That's not what I'm trying to do, I'm just... I mean, how can you guys... how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? If she really can beat the mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. Idiot! You're really asking for, to, to, for her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? My gosh. <laughs> what is my squad moto? Motto? Moto? What the frick am I talking about? Uh, let's see. First initial of your first name. Kill. Shit. And get pissed. <laughs> Kill shit and get pissed. Sounds, sounds like this game. This game is literally... <laughs> oh my god. I hate my life, guys. Like... Sounds like silence again. Cool. And we're back. It wouldn't matter. What? If Sakura were to die, it would be one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Oh, hold on, Byakuya! In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? It would put the whole problem to rest. Slap! What the hell? Oh! <laughs> yes! What the hell? You disgust me! You're- you're a monster! To say something like that, it should have been you. You should have been the one to die. I should have died? Interesting. Are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead. Try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. 
You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. This is exactly what the mastermind wants and exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <sighs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. That stupid cow! How dare she? She should die a thousand deaths. No, a million. So she's just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. That's what the other people have call, call having feelings, Byakuya. And all you can do is mock them for it. What's wrong with- You're a fucking prick, dude! A friendly word of warning. Someday, that attitude is gonna come back and bite you hard. And I will happily elude its attempts. Uh, so, you know... How about we, uh, eat? Uh, maybe now's not a good time. <laughs> Awkward! <laughs> Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Oh. This saddens me! Free time? At a time like this, I get free time? <laughs> I want to cheer up Hina, but she probably don't want to talk. I'm probably sure none of my friends want to talk right now. I'm sure Hina ain't gonna wanna talk, Sakura ain't gonna wanna talk, no one is gonna wanna talk. Nobody's even in the room, what the frick? What the oh. oh, well. Okay. Sakura's on the chem lab. Kyoko and Hiro. Oh, Yeah, I wanna go cheer up Hina! Let's go cheer up Hina, guys. Let's go do the thing, let's cheer her up. Let's be BFFs. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh, I'm really hating Bianca right now. Like, he he angers me. Hina, girly, you okay, buddy? Wanna talk? Wanna be BFFs? Makoto? Did you want something? Hmm, should I talk to Hina for a while? Yes. Were you worried about me? That's nice of you. Poor girl. You know, was quiet and depressed, but I did what I could for her. Aww! No. Oh, but she's got a smile on her face. Now it's okay. Would you like to give Hina a present? Um, what kind of present do we have? I don't even know what we got. I want to give her the love status ring. Let's be BFFs. <laughs> I handcrafted item with needle and thread. They say once you put it on, it'll never come off again. Hmm. I don't know what she would want. Does she even want anything? I don't know. <laughs> I want to be friends. Yeah, you know what? Let's not give her anything. Oh, but that's just a waste of my time. Aw. Oh. Okay, wait, wait. You know what I should have done? I should have gone to the store first. Fine, let's go to the store. Store time. Before I go hang out with some I've got 106 coins. 106 coins. Yeah, let's go to the store. Okay, probably should get going. Okay. Okay, so what did I get present-wise? I got rose hip tea for my beauty and wellness. You can somehow sense its elegance. A sonic cup of noodles. It's ready in three seconds. Of course, it goes from it go also goes bad in like thirty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I got another. I got like another love status ring. I'm just gonna have to give people my love. I got like two extra pairs of roller slippers. The only person who liked them are Mondo though. <laughs> Mm, bunny earmuffs. Fresh bindings. Um, I got quality chinchilla cover. Hmm. Um. Got an antique doll. Uh, moon rock. I kind of want to give that to Hero. <laughs> See what happens. I got a uh, pagan dancer. A 
sacred tree sap sprig. Ooh. You know what? We're gonna go hang out with Sakura. Sakura. What you winning wits? Okay. So who else is around? Eh, Byakuya. It's either Byakuya, uh, Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. Ugh, who's around? Who is around, my friends? Where are you? Over there. Oh, it's Toko this time. Okay. Um, but we're not gonna go talk to Toko. Where is Hiro? I kind of want to give him a moon rock. Even though it probably will be bad. Give Buddy moon rocks. Moon rock friendship. Hi, friend. Moon rock. I had a dream last night. I saw that the spirit world was gonna flood us with the energy and save us from this school nightmare. It's a prophecy. Take heart, my man. <laughs> Power to the people, bro. Oh, I've got something I wanted to show you. I got some. I got the stigmata on my back. <laughs> it's a gift from the gods. Fucking hell. Hero showed me a scar on his back, though I didn't really get what it meant. <laughs> Friendship. Here, and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give him a gift? Sure, we'll give him Moon Rock. Moon Rock. I don't even know if he'd like it. <laughs> We're just gonna guess. We're gonna hope and wish and pray and plead. Moon Rock. Oh, I'll take whatever I can get my hands on. This is just my style, man. Does that mean he liked it? Hey, Makoto, what's up, my brother and fellow mother lover? <laughs> oh my god, we're going into this again! Let's raise our semi-siblings up right, okay? Stop talking about- Yeah, seriously, I don't want to hear about this, dude. So, you ready for the next round? Never. Actually, how do you do your fortune telling anyways? I saw you do palm readings and stuff. You didn't use any tools or any- And you didn't use any tools or anything. Wow, I didn't know you knew about divination tools. It's not like you know your way around the spirit world. I'm not sure I know how much to know about those kinds of tools. Now I know you're an expert. I have a question for you. Correct answer gets another discount. No thanks. There are 22 cards known as the Major Arcana and the 56 card known as the Minor Arcana. Generally, these cards in the Minor Arcana are used for divination. Tarot cards. Tarot cards! <laughs> I actually have a thing of tarot cards, so... And I, I do a little bit of reading on the sides when I can. Oh, I know, you're talking about tarot cards. Ha! <gasps> Gloriously correct! I will not kill you your fortune for a measly 600 bones! <laughs> I hate you so much, dude! <laughs> wow, really? Is that... That's... Is something I'd never say. I've had enough fortune telling for one lifetime. I see. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure thing. Anyways, I'll get back to what I asked you about before. If you don't use any tools or whatever, how do you do your fortune telling? Well, don't be fooled. I have my own techniques. For example, I employ numerology. Numerology? He uses mathematical formula to predict the future based on all on birthdays, number lettering, uh, letter numbering, and all that. Let number lettering? <laughs> but I didn't... But I didn't... <laughs> I keep getting their voice confused. <laughs> They're on the same range. But I didn't see you do anything like that either. Well, it's more of an inspirational style of fortune telling. Some kind of unknown power just acts through you and suddenly BAM, you got the info. You're talking about intuition. Don't try and describe it using such a cheesy word. But if it's not intuition, then it's gotta be some kind of supernatural power. Don't compare my clairvoyance to some occult bullcrap. I hate the occult. Take that crap somewhere else. You hate the occult? Yep. Now here's some good news. Act now and I'll throw in an extra bonus on your reading. I use my white magic to record a CD of spirits messages and receive from the luxury suite of heaven. Five seconds of this baby and you'll be witnessing miracles and communing with angels for days. And you said you hate the occult? Hey, business is business! The more I talk to him, the less I understand. Yeah, he'd, he'd hate my other husbando from the next game. Yeah, we'll meet him later. I'm not gonna talk about him right now. Um, hey, your max skill points increase. Go, look at you go! Okay, I have- Ow! <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> okay, I, I hit my elbow off the table. Sorry! 
I shook off Hero's sail pitch and head back to my room for a while. Sad that I couldn't talk to Sakura and I had to talk to the idiotic clairvoyant. <gasps> ding dong, ding dong. What is up? Monokuma, my friend. This is cool announcement's 10 a.m. bedbugs night. Nighttime already? Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight, which always means something is gonna happen tonight. Monokuma Theater! More crabs! After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much one person can how much can one person love crustaceans? Uh I am cancer. Born in July. Cancer is the best. I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about to make it extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoying sigh on the end of the line, and then she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. But so what? The crab beats the monkey, and it's just some legend, hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still go show up in movies from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance. What I'm saying is, crabs don't have a place in today's light-speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose to become the always popular bear image. And that is the secret origin of Monokuma. Brilliant story! Yes, 10 out of 10! I'm gonna, it's gonna get a, it's gonna get a Nobel Prize. Anyways, ding dong bing bong. It is morning. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing this again and again and again. I just did a Hifu me yell, I'm sorry. Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Oh, panic mode! Panic mode! Screams! Panic! Let's see what happened. Oh. <laughs> ah, Makoto! We got a huge problem, man! I just let out my inner Hifumi scream! <laughs> What's wrong? L look! Hero's finger shook at his pointed. Hina? Are you okay? What happened? She killed her. Uh, no. Genocide Jack killed Hina. Then why is she still standing? No, 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 no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. She's way, no way she's dead. Why? Why? What happened? Oh, well, Toko and Hina just, all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze? Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? It may fit flat, but at least mine are real. And it looks like my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just set you on fire? Anyway, you totally non-adorable boy. Just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting. And I'll indulge myself in whoever knows how, for who knows how long. Okay, let's get Heena into the nurse's office. Come on, hero, help me. Sure thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> I was like, what is she? Oh, she's making noises. Genocide's Jack abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. Oh, boy, oh, boy, nurse's office. But anyways, we're going to cut the episode off here for now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more YouTube videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys all right. Bye-bye.